The Fox 54 Weather Now Tower Cam Network, sponsored by Brighter Side Roofing. We're going to go ahead and start off with a time lapse 7 10 p.m. This was our sunset. Unfortunately, it wasn't the most magnificent sunset for this evening. Now we did see some color up towards downtown Augusta, so it was quite a nice sunset. I mean, for what it was, but when we put it into motion, we're seeing cloudy conditions continuing throughout this evening, and that's just going to continue throughout tomorrow morning as well. S temperatures in the 70s, 73 in Louisville, as well as Augusta and Aiken, 75 up in Columbia and 71 in Statesboro. Dew points are between 60 and 80, so it's a very muggy evening here, but the temperatures are starting to drop, so it's not too bad at this time. 73 is your dew point in Louisville, 71 in Augusta and 70 two in Millen. Tonight's forecast, we're going to see a low of 64 degrees, 40% chance of precipitation. So don't count out any scattered thunderstorms for this evening. But for the most part, it's going to remain mostly cloudy with northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, a high of 81 degrees, 20% chance of precipitation and morning rain showers. So mostly sunny for the evening and for all of those football games for tomorrow. East winds 5 to 10 miles an hour once again. Now, taking a look at our Doppler radar, we don't have any storm activity across the CSRA. We saw it earlier down towards Swainsboro, Louisville, and Millen, but it's now moved on to the coast. So we're just holding on to cloudy skies for this evening. Now, right over here towards the coast, we're seeing a high surf advisory. This is following Hurricane Lee, and this is going to be in effect until Friday evening. So just keep that in mind if you're heading down to the coast for the weekend. Tropical update. We got Hurricane Lee category one hurricane making its way to the north. Uh, we are steering it uh, away from the coast right now with this cold front. So that um, came to save us in the long run, that cold front and gave us nice cool temperatures. So Hurricane Lee is moving up towards the north, keeping a category one hurricane, but it should be making landfall as an exotropical storm. So this one will lose the power, the wind force of that storm, but it'll still be very strong. And the, here there is the wind cone for you as well. Now, Tropical Invest 97L, this is a low pressure system that we are keeping an eye on. Um, it is off to the coast of the Virgin Islands. We're gonna keep an eye on this one. It is gonna be making its way to the west. This one will be named most likely in the next day or two as Tropical Storm or Hurricane Nigel. So this one is the next one we are looking out for, and it's gonna be making its way to the west. Again, that is a low pressure system, Invest 97L. So we do not yet have an eye or anything like that, but it is starting to cyclone around each other. So for future cast is looking like this. We saw some storms for this evening, but for the most part, they've moved out and we're just seeing cloudy conditions continue across the board. Maybe a pop-up shower possible towards the north for the rest of this evening. And for tomorrow, we're gonna see some very light uh, rain showers into the area. Nothing very severe for tomorrow morning, but partially cloudy skies after that. So seven day forecast, mostly rainy conditions for Sunday. So don't count out the fact that the rain is coming back. But after that, it should be pretty good, good conditions moving forward, 80 degrees and sunny. 20% chance of precipitation on Monday as well. And the lows are going to be remaining in the 60s. Trent?